In this tutorial, I'll take you through drawing a baseball. First, start off with the basic contour. Um, and after you get your basic circle shape, which can be difficult to draw, I would hold it up and look at it from far away before you get much further. So you can really see if you have any areas that kind of bump out um, or are lumpy. And play close attention to the curve of the way your laces lie out um, and where the closest part where they are together and how it sort of curves around the edge of the baseball. When you add in your laces, look really, really careful. They are not lines. They have a thickness to them. So when I drew mine in, I drew not just one line, but I drew kind of either side of the lace. Also, if you look really close at the laces, they don't make a V. Um, one goes in and the other comes out just kind of right below it. Um, if you think about if you are actually, you know, sewing them, they're not going to come out at the exact same spots. Additionally, I would look at the curve of the laces um, and the direction that they go. On the right side of the baseball down towards the bottom, the ones on the top are short and they kind of curve up, and the ones um, on the bottom just diagonal straight down. So as you're drawing your laces, look really, really carefully at the direction that they go and also knowing that they're not a V. Then I quickly added in some shading um, just to give that first dimension of a little bit of value and now you can really see the sort of thickness of the lace that I was talking about. Next I added a little bit of shading if I looked really carefully and you might need to get really close to the baseball to look but I noticed that on the left side is where there was more shading and also where the laces curved into that crease um, of those two different seams of that baseball where it curved in that was darker as well. So the second step was going in and adding some of that shading. Then I went in and added the little dots. If you notice, you know, the laces um, went in with a needle. It went in, you know, and you had to create a hole as you're kind of stringing those two seams together. So where that little hole was, that's the really darkest, blackest part of my baseball, where those laces went um, through that leather part. So I went in and put all those little colored dots in and on the top part they just kind of faded right into the lace. I started to add some shading on my baseball and I would really look at as you do this find the highlight first and that will kind of help you see where all of the rest of your areas um, to shade are. Your highlight it'll get darker and darker and darker and sort of, you could think of it kind of like concentric circles maybe from that spot, um, but it is a smooth transition getting darker and darker and darker, widening away from that highlight. I also, before I went a little bit too much farther, I went in and I looked at the shading that was underneath the laces and this is what makes it kind of look like a little bit of a bump as that lace got pulled tight. Um, so look very carefully, you'll see that right near the seam there's a little bit of a highlight and then it kind of um, had a little bit of shading underneath. So between those laces, look at that shading there too. I put in a little bit more shading overall um, on, the, on the sphere and at this point it looks a little flat. Um, going out from my highlight it's kind of an even consistent tone. I'm just building up slowly to my darker areas. Now you can see a little bit more value on the underneath part um, where it gets further away from that highlight and also there's a little bit of a shadow from the way the light is sitting. You can also see some shadows a little bit on those laces kind of casting um, some small little line shadows down there too. And at this point I'm not worried about the kind of dirt marks or whatever on the baseball. I just want to get that sphere formed. And if I have a little bit of uneven shading, that's okay because that'll kind of help describe that um, rough texture later. So here you can see I'm darkening it up a little bit more. I'm getting that bottom side darker so it's starting to look a little bit more round. 
and then starting to put in a little bit more uneven areas of value to describe that dirt on the surface. Here I've described the dirt on the surface a lot more. The last step is to really go in and add those details on top. And I kind of pulled a little bit of that dark value more around the side of that baseball to really make it look three-dimensional. In my last slide, I'm showing you the darkness of the background that's behind that baseball. And that's what really creates that dramatic edge um, of the sphere. So build up slowly, pay close attention to your laces. They're not V's, they're slightly off-centered. There's little holes where the laces go into the leather. You wanna work your way out from the highlight of the baseball or softball. Um, and um, the edges will be a little bit darker with that highlight somewhere in the center or off to the center. Hope this helps.